Okay, I promised uh, I would show you how to make an alcohol stove from a can. So I have a Pepsi can here and I'll show you now. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to um, remove the, the top. And I, I use a knife, it can be any pocket knife really. And uh, you go down here at the top and you basically just Notice that I didn't cut down in the bottom ridge here. I cut actually on top, very close to the edge. The aluminium is stiffer there, so it's actually easier to cut. All right, now I'll just cut this in two. I'm going with a spare system. So I start with the bottom and I want it to be about two fingers deep. That's what I'm shooting for. So let's try that. Something like that. We are trying to make it fairly neat. That's okay. The height of the bottom determines the height of the top because I want this edge to reach exactly on the ridge here. So we'll have to try to cut it to meet that requirement. Now we need to make the basically the fuel channels where the flame is going to come up and uh, ignite. So I use two fingers like this, a knife, a flat knife. I can't use this because it's serrated. And um, I go like this, I just place the knife there and then make a dent which should be deep here and shallow here. And whether this will work or not is a bit sensitive to how much you dent it right here. So there should be a marked dent at the ridge here. When I've done that, I just move one finger down and do the same thing. Okay, you end up with looking like this approximately. And if the edges are fairly neat, that should basically fit in fairly easily, like this. Okay, the only thing uh, left doing is you need to make a small hole here so that air can come in, so that you don't create a vacuum as the fuel is burning inside, which will stop the fuel from actually coming out. So just a very small hole. Place your finger inside and just uh, turn. Do not apply a lot of pressure, you don't want it to suddenly rupture. You're just using the force, the, the turning of the knife to create a small hole. It does not have to be big. It's not an air ventilation. It's just to make sure there's no uh, vacuum created. Just like so. Just a small hole will do. Let's try it out. I have here the bottle of fuel. As somebody pointed out, my small bottle of fuel, I bought it for about 20 kwacha, which turns out to be very expensive. You can get this apparently for three to five kwacha. This one I bought at 20 kwacha at ShopRite at least, so it's more. But I'm sure you can get it cheaper also. So let's try. We just fill a bit. If we look underneath there now, we can see the flame working nicely. And um, when I showed it uh, last time, I cooked some water here, so I thought we could try to 
uh, cook an egg, to fry an egg. It shouldn't be too difficult, I think, because uh, the pan is heating up quite, um, quite quickly. So, uh, why not? A bit of butter. You can see it's already starting to sizzle. And the egg. And here we go. No problem. Now the flame uh, is holding steady. It's not very uh, hot at the bottom because the metal is so thin. So it shouldn't be much of a problem. Um, you don't have to cook it all the way through. Just to show, you cannot, you cannot actually uh, blow this uh, flame out. It's not going to work. So you have to choke it, yeah. like so. There you go. Let me just cook the egg 